a hundred days ago and the forecasts were that Britain was about to fall apart. Since then, like my camper van Freddie Brexit, Britain's kept going. Big Ben still looms large over Westminster. The lions sit proud in Trafalgar Square. And Churchill guards Parliament just as he did in 1973 when Britain entered the EU. At the Best of Britannia exhibition this weekend, quality British goods were on display. Have a little, have a little smell first. And some of the craftsmen were gleeful at the post-Brexit boom. For us, it's been brilliant. We noticed literally two to three days after Brexit was announced and the price of the, um, and the pound went down, basically, we had orders coming through. The phone was ringing off the hook. It might sound crazy being as we're a British brand, but we, virtually everything we do is export, so all the foreign collectors tend to want to buy our watches. The exhibition was showcasing what Britain does best, like these woolens from Ross Barr. I actually started one to New York last night. His well, business has been so, clobbered yeah, since the uh, vote, it's well. and it's only been a hundred yeah, days. Been. It's a complete and utter mess. Absolutely complete. I mean, I had a stockist, my first one, um, international stockist, was in Berlin, a menswear boutique, and a week after Brexit, they cancelled their order because they were not sure that they were able to market a British brand in Germany. Well, it has a certain charm to it, doesn't it? Living with that uncertainty for the next two years is something these companies, large and small, are going to have to get on with. Jun Sarpong was a strong Remainer. Beautiful. You've got a good head of hair, by the way. What, Fabulous. you mean it's still there at my age? <laughs> That's what you really mean. I think that at the end of the day, I still don't believe it was the right decision. But Get over it. I'm o I, it's easier said than done, but we've got to make the most of it. I'm really worried because I think at the end of the day, there's no guarantee that we're going to remain in a single market. And if we don't, what does that mean? The British don't need much of an excuse to be eccentric. At the classic car boot sale, where British and European beauties were on display, there was optimism. Totally, yeah, yeah, we're, we're human beings, we're British. Of course, you know, and, and um, above all of the, uh, above that, we're a youthful nation. The first hundred days have been best described as a phony war, Britain and Europe feeling each other out. The next six months is when it starts to get really interesting and Britain's Brexit battle truly gets underway. Richard Quest, CNN, London.